Senator, we're going to talk today about the top 10% law. In layman's terms, what is the top 10% law? Top 10% law basically is that any uh, high school student that graduates from the 12th grade in the top 10% of their class are automatically admitted to state colleges and universities. Texas Tech, A&M, UT, uh, Texas State, etc. I understand uh, it's been in operation for uh, about 10 years or so now and that you were heavily involved in the setting up of this law. Tell us about the history of it. About 1995 there was a decision came down called the Hopwood decision which basically said that uh, race could not be used as a factor in admissions to colleges or universities. Some call that affirmative action, uh, other terminology. Uh, at that point my being the senator from Travis, living here in Austin all the time, people called me from Dallas, from El Paso, from the Valley, from Houston, concerned about what it was going to do for minority uh, attendance at the top universities. So I took it upon myself to uh, call a summit. I invited attorneys, uh, civil rights workers, uh, professors, students, legislators. We had uh, two meetings, one at the uh, LBJ school, at the University of Texas and then a second one at the AFL-CIO. From that, uh, David Montejano, Dr. Montejano and some of his colleagues, professors came up with the idea of the top 10 percent. Race neutral, uh, the students making the best grades in the top 10 percent of their graduating classes were automatically admitted. After that, uh, it worked. Uh, the increase was not overwhelming, but it was an increase even until today. So uh, at that time I introduced the bill in the Senate. Uh, Irma Rangel, who was in the House, introduced it in the House. Irma Rangel uh, passed the bill first while I was working on strengthening it in the Senate. Came over from the House and I didn't want to jeopardize it so I passed, passed the House version. And that's how it came about. What does it do for minority students and heavily minority areas? Well, I think that uh, it levels the playing field for, uh, for students. It is race neutral. Uh, basically what it does in the areas where there are predominant uh, minority students, uh, it gives them an even break to get in the top 10% and get into the college or university that, uh, which they want. Uh, but not only minorities. Uh, this law, I think, has help the, the little towns like, uh, like uh, San Benito or uh, uh, Pearsall or Poteet or Bastrop and some of those rural areas where the students were not being able to get to the University of Texas or Texas A&M, etc. So it helps uh, out in general. Bring, a, bring the issue up to date. Uh, this session there's a bill that would dilute the top 10% law. Um, have you had a chance to study that bill and what do you think of it? I have studied that bill to some degree. Uh, basically, you got to take think in two terms. One is enrollment, the other is admittance. The enrollment is the key because someone who might be uh, admitted won't necessarily finally enroll. So that has to come into play. Secondly, I think it'll hurt the minority uh, attendance in some of these areas and surely it'll hurt the uh, rural areas attendance in some of the universities and colleges. Because as I understand it the new bill would only allow, uh, it would cap up to 50 percent those that would be admitted <coughs> under the top 10 percent rule. That's correct but uh, in effect it would be less than uh, 50 percent of the enrollment. Last week in the Senate, three of your former colleagues from South Texas, Senator Zafarini, Senator Hinojosa and Senator Lucio, voted for, their met for this new bill. They <coughs> voted to dilute the top 10% law. Your thoughts on that? Well, it's a free country. Uh, I think everybody in the end responds to the people who elect them. Uh, I'm sure they had uh, their uh, beliefs and the way they did. Um, I, I will leave that for the people who uh, who vote for those individuals. Uh, my personal opinion is that we should keep it or uh, not dilute it to the point that uh, it, it won't make any difference. Any other thoughts 
that you, you have on this issue? <coughs> Basically, w people were saying, some people were saying, we don't want uh, uh, affirmative action. We don't want to use race as a factor. So we come up with a race neutral bill. And then they say, well, that's not fair. Well, what is fair? If somebody is talking about too many students getting in on the top 10% and they don't have enough room, make more room. We need more top tier universities. Uh, that's the way Texas is. We got a challenge. Let's treat our students like uh, the future that they are. Anything else you'd like to add, Senator? Hook them and gig them. Or any college you get a degree from, but go get your degrees. <laughs>